Overseas tonight, major developments in Iran. The Iranian government is accusing Israel of assassinating the country's top nuclear scientist. Gunman opened fire on his car outside of Tehran. Iran is calling it an act of state terror. The incident places a new burden on the incoming Biden administration. Here's ABC's James Longman. Tonight, Iran says its most senior nuclear scientist has been assassinated near the capital, Tehran. Iranian officials say Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was ambushed in his car by what they call armed terrorists, spraying the windshield with bullets. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital. He's the man Western intelligence think was behind the country's covert nuclear weapons program. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke about him in May 2018. This is how Dr. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh Head of Project Abad put it. Remember that name, Fakhri Zadeh. Iran's foreign minister, Javad Zarif, has called the killing an act of state terror, accusing Israel of being behind it, although tonight neither Israel nor the Pentagon is commenting. Israel was widely blamed for four other assassinations of Iranian nuclear scientists between 2010 and 2012. Fakhrizadeh's killing comes as concerns grow over Iran's uranium enrichment activity. That was what the now severely weakened Iran nuclear deal, from which President Trump withdrew, was meant to stop. James Longman joins us now from London. And James, Joe Biden has signaled that his administration would rejoin that nuclear agreement with Iran, but any Iranian retaliation for this attack could complicate that. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. And tonight, Iran is already vowing revenge. And this puts President-elect Biden in an awkward position uh, because the Middle East is already in a tense situation. This pushes the situation there further to the edge just before he takes office. Lindsay. James, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.